because he was trying to say like oh I'm just playing around like this is how I rough house like I never had female friends before whatever okay I was like well you have one now so just calm the fuck down because you literally are being a psycho hi welcome back to Montreal IRL and Montreal or Montreal if you want to be fancy um <laughs> Hi, welcome back, and welcome to my first video in a series of Friday videos where I do my makeup and I share things. Specifically, I'm sharing my own personal experience with narcissistic abusers in my life. Now, this is something that I have never shared with anyone before, so bear with me if it gets a little kooky. I'm just trying to figure out what the HE double hockey sticks happened trying to share, trying to heal, trying to bring awareness to others, and it's totally unscripted, no research involved, just my pure experience and observations, so yeah, I'm gonna just hop into it, maybe we can come out of it laughing. <laughs> Alright, let's get started, and just gonna do a little promo real quick this is the stuff this banana bright primer this is the stuff for your face for all occasions all right so we met when i went away to university to study to become a doctor which i did not do but <laughs> that's not the story i'm having difficulty telling the story now it's like been in my head on repeat forever and ever and now it just feels weird it happens I'll just I'll just say the thing and then we'll see I'm also just like having difficulty because it doesn't make sense so like the abuse the actions everything literally doesn't make sense it's like nothing you've ever experienced before and so it's like I'm trying to make it make sense um, for the format of the story, but I'm just still having trouble kind of putting it all together. And yeah, that's like what's happening right now in my mind. But um, yeah, and I think like that's part of how a lot of these people are able to kind of slither their way into gaslighting people is because they do things that literally no one has ever like understood before so they're just easily able to tell you like oh you're overreacting or this is totally normal because you don't have really a base point for it probably like you probably never like heard of half the that I'm about to tell you Sorry, um, I need like a bleeping editing tool. Yeah. Oh, also, okay, editing. So I'm like not good at technology. I've been doing the most bare minimum edits for my videos, but I'm gonna try and learn some new software today. Hopefully I'll be able to insert some actual like evidence of like things that happened throughout these videos. Like TBD though, like if it ends up that some like texts or something pops up down here by the time you see this video, then I figured it out. If it doesn't, then I'm still working on learning the software. <laughs> also help. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we met at university, like I said. We met like in the plaza. This kid comes over, he likes my shirt because it represented his hometown. I was kind of digging his outfit too. It was like early 2015. He had the snapback, the skinny jeans, the vans, and I was like, Bay Area. And <laughs> so it just was like, I like your style, you know, whatever, whatever. We started hanging out, just like friends and whatever. And so yeah, there was actually um, abuse basically off the bat. Um, they say it takes at least seven tries for someone to leave an abusive relationship. And I'm counting the times, the number of times like I ended the friendship as part of those seven tries. Because I was 
constantly unfriending him, blocking him, calling off the friendship. We had an on-again, off-again friendship before we had an on-again, off-again relationship. So, you know, I'm like fresh out of high school, whatever. And also at this time, it helped. It helped a lot. I had a boyfriend at this time. Um, We were long distance, but it still helped because that was kind of how I was able to keep him, um, the abuser, at a distance romantically for such a long time. I mean, we did end up becoming sort of a friends with benefits situation um, on and off again as well, but that was like, yeah, anyways. So we had a little situation going on, you know, he wrote me a little love letter talking about I want to hold your hand, da 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 and so wait i have that i might insert that if i figure out the editing um like and it helped because i was like oh i have a boyfriend so i can't do that so we just have to be like friends with benefits sorry yeah okay i was cheating on my boyfriend at the time sorry um but it's okay like we're over it like me and that other guy we're fine now we're fine he did some shady too but not abusive shit so we don't need to talk about it so the friendship was so volatile it really was it was disgusting i was so disgusted with him at all times i was just like fucking don't be my friend anymore like at least at least three to four times throughout the course of two years so okay right off the bat he's like just so annoying like i would always just think like okay he's like really immature or whatever but then it did start getting like physical like he like put me in like chokehold one time when we were hanging out and I was like no like I told him specifically like you need to take this down like 10 notches because you're not like being as gentle as you think because he was trying to say like oh I'm just playing around like this is how I rough house like I never had female friends before whatever okay I was like well you have one now so just calm down because you literally are being a psycho I didn't say that but like in summary (laughs) so yeah he was just like being so like aggressive like he was off the bat aggressive putting me in chokeholds he would slap me across the face he would like give me like indian burns or whatever you know like when you twist your arm and stuff and i would tell him like stop like we can't hang out if you're gonna like rough house with me because that's not what i want to do okay i'm just here to chill and so you know it would be like, okay, like, I understand, but then he would, like, come back and do something else, and it was just, like, so annoying, and I remember one time, like, I went to his house, and then he was, like, trying to tickle me, like, I'm in his house on his couch, he's, like, trying to tickle me, and I'm, like, stop tickling me, like, okay, like, we've been tickling for, like, half an hour now, like, let's end this, and then he starts, like, choking me out, and I was, like, bruh, like, we're not friends anymore like dead ass i ended the friendship like and i and i went home and i was like this cannot be a thing so obviously like we were at his house back home so this was like on one of our breaks probably like winter break and so i did i I stopped being friends with him like for the entire rest of the break now when we get back to school it's a little different because our school is like super small the entire population of the school is like a thousand five hundred people it was a small private school and we had the same major so we were like seeing each other quite a bit you know it was hard to not have contact anymore with this person long story short we end up being like friends again or whatever and then one time he like comes over to like do homework and he's like sitting on my desk and i finished my homework and he's like watching his youtube or whatever maybe he finished his homework too i'm not sure this time we were actually just doing homework and then i was like okay like i'm gonna clean my room because i'm done and i I like you know nothing else is happening here and he's like starting to get upset like i'm not paying attention to him he like wants me to like watch this youtube video and i'm like just turn it up so i can hear it because i'm cleaning like i'm cleaning my room i don't want to like watch this weird comedy shit that you like you know i don't know i'm sorry (laughs) And so he gets like upset now that I'm not paying attention to him, to his video. And he freaking 
takes his like arm and swipes everything off my desk everything that i just like cleaned that I just like picked up he like swipes it on the ground and he actually breaks one of my um canisters like one of those like water canisters i have there's like a dent in it and that's from when he freaking like threw it across the room like that and i was like excuse me sir you know what i'm gonna get the water canister this okay so i have the canister he dented my public library canister right here that i had just got when i went home for break and i was hecka mad i was like bro you just like destroyed my property like get out of my room and then he was having a fit about me asking him to get out of my room okay and i was like you better no, I didn't say all that, but I was, like, getting kind of mad. I was like, why isn't he leaving? And he proceeds, like, I'm telling him, like, no, seriously, like, get out. Like, study time's over. Like, you're freaking throwing shit around my room. Like, get the fuck out of my room. And so he, like, gets mad, and he starts, like, trashing things, like, on his way out. And then after that, I, like, text him. I was like, we're, like, don't talk to me again. Like, we're not friends. I literally said, like, I can't be friends with you. You're, like, too immature. And... You know, it's just, like, taking up my time. So, that was, like, number two, okay? Friendship breakup. Number three. So, I think we, like, didn't... We were, like, not friends for, like, a while. Like, for the rest of the year, through summer. And then fall of the next year. So, fall of, like, the second year. We somehow come back into contact with each other. And... I literally don't remember how we like ended up talking again but it had to be because of like facebook or like a school event or something and so he got sick in like november or something we were like kind of having a friendship i was telling him like you know no more friends with benefits let's just like be friends like we could study or whatever but like i was like not trying to be like mean but i wasn't trying to be his best friend you know like I wasn't trying to be like that close to him again because I was like, you're not going to come and do all this crazy shit to me again. So he got like sick in like November. It was definitely November. I remember this. And, you know, he was like, I can't like eat. Can you bring me food? I was like, fine. Like I'm on my way out to the library anyway. So I'll just like go get some food, drop it off to you. So I went to like our school cafeteria and I got him like soup and a sandwich on my own like money and I brought it to his dorm and like when I got there he was really angry already. He was like, I don't know, he like opened the door and had an attitude like straight up and I was like, are you okay? Like I brought you soup. And then he like flicks the soup so it like flies and spills like on the car but I was like what the fuck like now I have to clean this up like what are you doing and he was just like get out like I'm having someone else come over and he like slams the door and mind you my hand is like on the door and he like slams it on my fingers and I was like fuck no so I like just and I like left the soup there and I like went to the library crying ran into my friend and I told her like what happened and so she was like able to know like that some things were going on like, seeing like my hand was hurt and like that was really upset because i had just brought him food and he just like threw it and like slammed the door on my fingers so this is like the third time i'm like okay we're not friends anymore like f off so it was three times that it took during our friendship to like stop being friends so i blocked him on everything i even switched majors i was like i don't want to see him like by any possibility and yeah then i just like lived my life for the next year basically so it's like a year now it's my third year at school and i'm just chilling i'm just like living my best life and then around like December okay so it's like break so it's like break of my third year and it's also my last year because I graduated a year early and I'm chilling and I got like my thesis and stuff situated and then somehow like on Facebook again he like messages me because he got into a car accident and he was like I'm in a car accident and I was like oh are you okay we just started talking again and he was like i'm sorry like i've been so immature like you're a really good friend i miss our friendship da, 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 da. like all that like apology 
and I was like okay like cool beans like I wasn't really like into it yet I was like okay I still remember that you're hella like annoying so like did you fix that and I'm just kidding (laughs) but um (laughs) he was you know pulling out all the stops all the apology stops all of the like I'm mature now like I realized how I mistreated you, da 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 He was damn near, like, talking like we were in a dating relationship and he was trying to get me back, even though at this point we had just only been friends. Like, he was damn near, like, begging, like, to get back into my life. And I was like, let's just see what happens when we go to school because we're on break. And I was like, I'm not going to come see you right now. So we go back to school and he invites me over to his house. Now he lives off campus at this point. And he invites me to his house for drinks. And I'm like, mm, I'm still hella sus about him. I'm just like, mm, mm, mm. So I asked my best friend to come with me to his house to have drinks. And I tell him, like, yo, my friend's coming. And so he, like, has his, like, housemate stay and have drinks, too. Because I was, like, telling her, I was like, you know, he's done this, this, and this. Like, in the past, he's been really just, like, aggressive and outrageous. And I don't want to go by myself to his house and, like, be drunk, you know? So she, like, came with me. And we all had a good time. Like, it was a good time. The four of us chilling. And, and when we left, I was even telling her, I was like, okay, like, he really has changed. Like, he was so mature just now when we were hanging out. And just chill and like the vibes are different like I started telling her like oh I like I could see us being friends again bitch and (laughs) yeah that's the end of the story for right now that's as far as I want to go for right now because I have to leave um I got things to do I got places to be okay and my makeup's done and yeah this might actually end up being two parts the first part is like the volatile friendship and then the second part is like the first time that i freaking like saw him reveal himself (laughs) to be continued